Thank you for joining us on the newsroom. I am Fola Shade Ogurinde. President Muhammad Ubari is set to address the 76th session of the high-level general debate of the UN General Assembly at the UN headquarters in New York on Friday. According to reports, President Buhari would deliver his address around 2 p.m. to other world leaders. Buhari will speak to the theme of the assembly and other global issues. Friday's session will also include speeches by leaders from the Gambia, South Sudan, Republic of Benin, Senegal, and Germany, among others. In the last nine months, the transmission company of Nigeria TCN in Meduguri, Borneo State, has lost at least 1.7 billion naira to vandalism. The outcry was made yesterday by the Minister of Power, Abubakar Aliyu, at the town hall meeting organized by Ministry of Information and Culture to address vandalization of power and telecommunications infrastructure. He said the company had consistently been losing on a monthly basis an average of 130 million naira as immediate charges on Duguri and environment. <clears throat> The National Youth Service Corps, NYSC, has denied giving security advice that Corps members traveling on high-risk routes are advised to alert their members, their family members, friends and colleagues to have someone on ground to pay off the ransom that could be demanded in case they are kidnapped. Reacting, the NYSC on Thursday took to its verified Facebook handle to deny giving the advice, stating that the clause quoted is not embedded in NYSC security tips pamphlet, which was put together by high highly respected retired security expert. Nigeria has recorded 433 new positive samples of COVID-19. The additional figure raises the country's infection tally to 203,514. According to the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, SDC, the fresh cases were reported in 16 states and the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. The nation's capital, Abuja, recorded the highest number of cases with 191 infections, followed by Lagos and Anambra with 79 and 63 cases respectively. The agency further disclosed that two persons died of the infection, bringing the total number of fatalities to 2,668. In business, the Federal Federation Accounts Allocation Committee FAC says it has shared a total of 696 billion naira as Federation allocation for the month of August. In a statement by Deputy Director of Information at the Office of Accountant General of the Federation, Oshudu Olajide, the federal government got 24.934 billion naira of the revenue generated from VAT, while the states and local government councils received 83.114 billion naira and 58.180 a billion naira respectively. And this comes as the nation records a significant increase in the collection of value-added tax and import duty and amid the lingering controversy over authorization to collect VAT. More than 70 people have been arrested in Burkina Faso in connection with money laundering and the funding of armed groups. The detainees are accused of being involved with fuel trafficking in areas where jihadist groups are active. Investigators said the traffickers work at night, moving hundreds of thousands of liters of fuel across the country. Nearly 1.5 million people have been displaced by intensifying Islamist violence in Burkina Faso. Nigeria's senior women's basketball team, the Tigers, are inching closer to a third consecutive Afro Baskets title with their qualification for the semi finals at the ongoing 2021 FIBA Women's Afro Basket in Yoondu, Cameroon. Nigeria qualified for the quarterfinals after finishing top of Group B with wins over Mozambique and Angola and then maintained their high flying form against the Ivorians. The team will face the winner of the second quarter final game between Senegal and Mozambique in the semi, uh, semi-finals scheduled for Friday. And that's it on our news update at this hour. Do join us at the top of the hour for more. I am Fola Shadi. Green Day. Bye for now.